Watching the news from West Africa over the past year saw thousands of people struck down by a killer that moved quickly and made no distinction between age, gender, or nationality. Long before the tragic outbreak in Africa began, the Department of Defense and DITRA SCC were developing countermeasures to fight viruses like Ebola. This critical research is funded to identify possible vaccines or drugs that may protect DOD personnel around the world from exposure to viruses that might affect military readiness. So the agency has been investing in development of countermeasures for hemorrhagic fever viruses for many years. Nobody else was really focused on Ebola except us before this current outbreak. As far as why we're investing in them, if you look at the viruses themselves, they exhibit a number of um, uh, characteristics that make them uh, uh, of concern. Um, for instance, the ability to cause very severe infections, um, the, the lack of effective countermeasures, so vaccines and therapeutics um, for these viruses, um, the, the ease in transmission, so the high rate of person-to-person -person transmission for the viruses, um, the, the potential to cause widespread, widespread public health panic should there be uh, an outbreak in this country uh, with these viruses. One of the countermeasures DITRA invested in over the years was the ZMAP therapeutic. DITRA SCC was the rare agency that went against the grain and funded research even though there was skepticism about using monoclonal antibodies to treat viruses like Ebola. And we started lo looking at uh, the, the ZMAP uh, therapeutic, which the science just wasn't there, you know, two to three years ago for what we have today. In 2012, our performer at USAMRID uh, wrote a paper that got published that, that had some really novel ideas and he thought this this novel concept uh, would work and uh, and it was you know a my monoclonal antibody cocktail and we started putting a lot more investment into it at that point and finally in January of 2014 came up with the final you know recipe for this cocktail Another key part of DITRA's work is research into vaccines that may prevent military service members from contracting a virus in the first place. We've also funded uh, one of the um, two key uh, vaccine candidates for Ebola. Uh, it's called vesicular stomatitis virus vaccine, and it has shown uh, excellent uh, efficacy in non-human primates. And, and has, uh, is going through human clinical trials right now and is showing very good safety data being used in humans. I think it's, it's really important to highlight the fact that, um, that while we, do, um, we did play a very critical role in the development of these products, that we absolutely couldn't do it alone. Um, it's really important to give credit to the other defense agencies, as well as our international partners, as well as our interagency partners, um, that really did uh, have a hand in developing these products from the beginning. Um, I think overall, these products uh, really do have the ability to either impact this current epidemic um, or perhaps future outbreaks. And I think really um, the net result is that um, they could possibly protect the lives of the warfighter in the future against these um, very severe infections.